If you're a PC gamer, you might have noticed a new setting popping up in your games as of late, DLSS. And because you clicked on this video, you probably saw that setting and went, I don't know what this is. Should I turn it on? What does it do? Well, that's what we're going to answer for you. Up front, let me just say that like with other NVIDIA features such as ray tracing, DLSS is only available on the RTX 20 and 30 series of graphics cards. And while not as visually eye-catching, it has the potential to be even more impactful in your game experience. DLSS is an AI-based image upscaling tool created by NVIDIA. It stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling. Traditional super sampling is a technique where you have a game running at a higher internal resolution than what's displayed on your monitor. This is most commonly used as anti-aliasing to help remove jagged edges. You can also manually do super sampling yourself using your graphics card settings. So while your monitor might only be 1080p, the game could be running in 4K. Gamers use this to create crisp, sharper looking image quality in games, but it requires beefy hardware. But say you are in the opposite camp and are someone with a less powerful machine and want to adequately run games on a 4K display. This is where DLSS comes in as a solution. Using AI machine learning enabled by NVIDIA's RTX video cards that have AI-based tensor cores, DLSS takes a target resolution and displays an image of that quality while using a lower base resolution. So, say you're like me and have a computer that can run games at 1440p, no problem, but starts to struggle when displaying at 4K. But I have a nice 4K TV that I sometimes like to play games on. By using DLSS, my 1440p game is reconstructed in real time to 4K with less of a computational cost it would take to run the game natively at 4K. Now, 4K gaming on my TV is possible without needing to upgrade my GPU. This is the type of situation DLSS is designed for. Players with an RTX card and supported games can use this AI-based rendering technique to enjoy higher resolutions without needing to break the bank on their hardware. And it's only going to become more necessary when 8K displays become more prominent because lord knows I won't be able to run games natively at 8K for a very long time. Of course, this isn't just about 4K and 8K. You can use DLSS to boost even 1440p as well, which is great if you want to lighten the load on resolution so you can use other enhancements such as ray tracing. It's some impressive tech, and unless I'm trying really hard and comparing screens, I've never been able to tell the resolution was being digitally enhanced while playing. What I am noticing is those sweet extra frames I'm getting. So what do you need to run DLSS? As previously mentioned, this is NVIDIA tech and you will need an NVIDIA card to use it, specifically an RTX 20 or 30 series. Sorry GTX 10 series users. Games also need to support it. Some of the best examples at the time of this video include Control, Metro Exodus, Death Stranding, Watch Dogs Legion, and Black Ops Cold War. As time goes on, more games will support it, such as the upcoming Cyberpunk 2077. Also keep in mind that while DLSS cuts down on hardware strain, it's not magic, and you still want a decently powerful PC. Which I assume you have if you have an RTX 20 or 30 series card, but it's worth mentioning. And that's the long and short of it. If you're somebody with a fancy new 4K TV or monitor, then DLSS is a great tool to keep your games running smooth while taking advantage of that sweet higher resolution. Hopefully you found this video informative. We have other tech breakdowns that explain things like teraflops or HDMI 2.1, so check those out if you're hungry for more knowledge.